I grew up in Latvia until I was like uh, about uh, four years old and then went to the United States, went back and forth a little bit, but for the most part grew up in Massachusetts, and then moved over to California when I was 20 years old and started doing strongman there. I'm very excited, especially because of the crowd. Um, I've always seen videos and pictures of the show and it's been on my list of uh, shows to do. And I've uh, been invited to it before, and uh, last year I was about to go, but unfortunately I tore my pec, so right before the show, and then I, of course, couldn't go. So this is kind of my, uh, my payback to that time off. I'm here to compete and enjoy it and have a great time, and I already love what I've seen of Manchester so far. Fortunately, I've not explored the UK enough, and uh, being here for these competitions gives me like a little glimpse, so I'm definitely gonna have to come back just to enjoy this place more. I typically only in a year choose two shows, two to three shows to truly train and focus for. Um, and then if there's like shows around any show that I'm preparing for, um, I will basically just touch those events, but I will not obsess over them. I only obsess about like two shows a year at most. And then basically I have to treat most contests like a heavy training weekend beautiful thing about this show is the intensity of the competition everybody here is a contestant for uh, the win I really believe that we have got a great lineup of athletes um, I tr this is uh, oddly enough this is one of those moments where I gotta say I truly don't know me I think I'm I just gotta beat my beat myself in terms of uh, staying focused and being my best self. I want to be the best. I intend to be the best. Is it a lot of pressure? Yeah, it's a hell of a lot of pressure because uh, every single show I do, if I slip, it feels like uh, not just, I feels like my own ego isn't on the line anymore. It's all the fans and everybody that believes in me as well. When I was younger, uh, there was a total reckless abandon going into every event. Um, I really wanted to prove myself. Nobody knew me. So I would get into this uh, state of mind, which was life or death. And I would also imagine that I was uh, fighting for something bigger than me, like my family. And it really fueled me. And uh, I'd go into the rage and do, go through, be able to lift heavier things than I've ever lifted before. Um, surpass my personal records of training by like 20 kilos and almost every lift I would attempt uh, but lately because I, uh, I've got had more consistency I don't need that kind of intensity uh, and also uh, running at that kind of intensity is also dangerous because when you go into that kind of state of mind of a reckless abandon injuries are much more prevalent so at this point I've calmed down a lot uh, I'm glad I went through that phase because now I know how strong my body is when I can when I really decide to push it but now it's big, you know, it's more of a balance of when to use that reckless abandon and rage and when to pull back and just uh, cruise through an event so much more calculated now than before I think a lot of athletes like Big Z get to that point I take it back I've never seen Big Z in a rage <laughs> <laughs> Watching Big Z is incredible because if you just take a snapshot of his face after he's completed a lift, you don't know if he succeeded or failed it. He has the same demeanor no matter what. Last place, first place, Big Z's Big Z.